If you are a female out there who's spending your hard-earned money on a man, ma, please give it to me. Give it to me, oh. Give it to me right now. Because you don't have any value for your money if you say now they're spending it on a man, okay? If even our coins give it to me, I got a very big piggy bank. Yeah, I can put it all there. As it grows, I will put it to good use. You know what I'm saying? It's not good to spend money on a man, oh. Okay, for a second, let me back up. I've been guilty of it before, but I grew out of that. <laughs> yes, I did. You know, because from my experiences, what I learned is what I'm about to share with you. When you're spending all your money on a man, I say some girls, when they get a tax return, this I never did. When they get a tax return, they will spend everything on a man trying to buy a man's heart out of his body. Just buy him, buy him, buy his love, buy everything, buy everything. Okay, they do that. But let me tell you something. I'm not going to sit here and say that. He doesn't appreciate what you do. He appreciates it. But in the back of his head, he knows that he's not in charge here. He's not in charge in this picture. You are. Okay? You're taking care of all his responsibilities. Oh, you are helping him pay his, 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 his car loan. You are helping, pay, helping him pay his phone bills. Oh, you are buying him the latest fashion trends, clothing and shoes. Oh, you're still taking care of him. So, on the outside, when other females see him, and we don't know about you, the sugar mama... Slash welfare lady in the background doing all this stuff and we don't know nothing about you. We just see a well-groomed man. We are interested. We see him as a real man who got his stuff together. So that's why when you're doing everything for him, he appreciates it. But he know you are the one wearing the pants. So he's not going to stick around here. He's going to go out there to go impress other females who will see him as a guy who got his stuff together and is on top of his game. That's what we're going to believe because we don't know you. And he's not going to tell us about you. He's just going to say, if even he's living in your house, he's going to say he got his own place. Ma, when you're not around, that's when he will bring the other girls who actually believe that he got his stuff to get up to your house. And they will do the zigzag while we yama yama yoni yoni all in your house. Okay? Yes, that's what they do. Some of them, maybe not all of them, because some men do appreciate women who work hard to get them on their feet and they actually stick around. But a lot of them play this game, this very game I'm telling you about. I said, think twice when you're spending your money on a man, okay? Be careful. Do your research. That man may just be showing you all the smile and all the attention because you are helping him to attract another female who believes in him, who believes that he got his stuff together, that he can be a man she can count on. Okay, not every man you spend all your life earning on is going to stick with you. Because once he get his stuff together and he feels like a man in another woman's life, he will leave you. He will leave you. Because all that thing you're doing right there, when you get vest, you stop doing it, he finds himself on the street because he was never a man to you. That's why you're taking care of him like a little boy. If he were really a man to you, you would tell him what you required of him, what you need him to do, what you want from him. And a real man will listen and step his game up. Okay? A real man will listen and step his game up and be a man. Why are you over there spending all your money? Let me tell you something. You don't know what's going on in his mind, though. He could be plotting something totally different, not in your interest. He could be trying to be with another woman. Ma, when he walks away tomorrow from you, you will be running behind him. Let me get my phone I bought you. Let me get that, that all the money I put into your car payment. I need you to refund it back to me. Remember the income tax I borrowed you? You borrowed what? Did you borrow it for real or you was doing it out of love? Let me get all that, 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 that $600 pair of shoes I bought for you. I want it back. I want all the clothes I bought for you. I want that, that Rolex watch I bought for you. I want this. I want that. No, he's not going to give it to you. He already paid you in the bedroom for everything you're doing for him because you was doing it out of love. You can't prove it, man. So your best bet is to stop trying to treat these men like they are your sons okay stop spending your heart on spend it on yourself invest in yourself because there's a real man out there who need a real hard-working woman so they can bring their incomes together and have a very good life raise kids that will have everything they need and have a good retirement stop spending your money on the useless brother and i want to use you to go be with another woman stop doing it
Hey, stop doing it because sooner or later when he walks out of your life, you'll find yourself going to slice his tires, break his window, rob him of everything to get paid. But because, I mean, if you go sue him, what kind of proof you have? It was out of love. It was he said, she said. They're not going, you can't prove anything. So stop, stop it, stop. Hey, love ain't got nothing to do with you spending all your money on the mail, so you better stop. Ah, another man, who?